This morning we have a a sad and joyful moment when we say farewell for a while to some folks who have made Damascus their home. I would like to ask uh, Gladys and Willington Otiano to join me and um, I'd also like to invite the OMG Sunday School class to please come up and join us here in the chancel. Please bring your bulletins with you. And please come up in here. There's plenty of room. I'm glad. It, oh, yeah. yeah. It gets very lonely up here. And Gladys and Wellington, I like you right in the middle if, if I could. And I'm going to step forward here just a little bit. And, and please feel free to, to fill in behind Gladys and Wellington. The church is a family united by the common recognition of Jesus Christ as our Savior. We are all brothers and sisters. And for a time, Damascus United Methodist Church is our home. Like every human family, our church family is formed and reformed over time. As members are born, as they die, as members are adopted into our family, and as they leave our congregation for a new home in a different place. For a time, Wellington and Gladys lived with us. We've shared with each other good times and bad. We've shared each other's joys and sorrows. We have lightened each other's heavy loads. Together we have laughed and cried. Together we have worshiped and praised God. And together we have lived. Before our prayer, I'd like to explain that Gladys and Wellington will be moving back to Kenya. Uh, they will both be flying out this week, and then Gladys is going to send Wellington back <laughs> <laughs> for a time, and then he will be uh, in, a, in about a year joining her in Kenya. I told Gladys this morning before worship that I was going to give her the microphone, and she grinned when I said that. So, <laughs> Gladys, is there anything you'd like to say? Mine is just to say thank you so much for the Damascus Methodist Church. We came here and you accepted us the way we are. You have given us support, you have supported our family. And mine is just say thank you very much. My special thanks will go to Joyce and Al Patrick, Wendy Keegan, who are mentors of my children, Susan Shook, who introduced us to this church for the first time, my OMG class, who have been my brothers and sisters. We have felt very much at home here. Americans are good people and we very much appreciate each one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gladys. 
Wellington, would you like to say anything? Now, you're going to get a second chance later. So. Uh, I'm Wellington, um, the husband to Gladys. Uh, in the year 2002, we picked up our small bags from Africa, Kenya, and we came here. Uh, we came to get this bag, lived there for a while, but God f gave us a home here. Uh, when we came here, we were so much welcomed. As Gladys has said, we were brought to the church by our neighbor, Susan Shook, and for the, uh, uh, since that time that we came in, we never turned back. We found a home here. We were very warmly welcomed by everybody. We found a wonderful supporting class in our OMG class who have not only supported us here, but all the way back in Kenya as they have visited us in our homes in Kenya. And together, they came together and formed a mission that is again going back soon, next month. They are coming again to Kenya to give us that support. We appreciate you all very much. We give thanks to God. You have supported our children, um, Vincent. Linda is here in the middle. <laughs> and Will, her husband, and Sylvia. So we are so blessed. And I just want to say that Gladys is going. I'm going with Gladys next week on Sunday. I will be with Gladys for six weeks in Kenya and wait for our friends to come and visit with us. And then I'll come back after six weeks. And then I'll also start packing my bags for my journey to join Gladys in the next less than 12 months. Praise God and thank you. Thank you, thank you. There, there are some folks who have uh, a gift for you. Jackie, would you like to? Would you like this? Okay. This is a gift on behalf of the church for you, Gladys, to take with you. Um, a prayer shawl from the prayer shawl ministry that we hope every time you put it on you, you will remember the love of all of us. And we are just so grateful for having had the experience of knowing you and loving you and being your friend. Thank you. And Gladys and Wellington, we have one more thing here. Um, this is uh, a mini quilt that's been signed by many church members to show our love and Christian faith with you, and we will miss you greatly. And please, I know not everyone has signed it, but it will be available in the Connection Cafe. Thank you. And if you let me through here just a second. This morning before worship, there was a little confusion with people about why this chalice was placed on the altar table, because there's nothing inside it except an awful lot of memories that you share with the folks here at Damascus. This was placed on the altar table, and if you recall, this is the chalice that I lifted symbolizing Christ's sacrifice for us. Now, we would like for you to take this chalice with you to Kenya and allow this chalice to be filled to overflowing with the joys and with the prayers of your congregation here and our satellite congregation in Kenya. <laughs> this is for you with our thanks and our prayers for everything you've done. Let us pray. O oh God, you are the strength and the protector of your people. We humbly place in your hands, Wellington and Gladys, of this congregation who are about to leave us. Keep and preserve them, O oh Lord, in all health and safety, both of body and soul, 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And will the congregation please join me in our benediction and our blessing on Wellington and Gladys. Go in the peace of Christ. Our prayers go with you. Amen. Gladys and Wellington are going to be at the cafe with me uh, following the postlude. Please come and join with them. Thank you all.